everyone! Today, let me tell you a story about the Alberta Chinese Alumni Association. Now, where should I begin? Let's see. Well, let me first take you back to the summer 2012 in this beautiful city, Edmonton. Robin and Lee Hong studied together in Edmonton. Several years after graduation, they met in a coffee shop. They remembered the fun times with their friends in school, and Robin grumbled. Since we graduated, our friends have all left. Our social circle is becoming smaller and smaller. Li Hong agreed. Therefore, on August 17, 2012, I was born. I was given a beautiful name, Alberta Chinese Alumni Association. I am proud to say that I am a beloved baby. There are many long-term caregivers who take care of my daily needs and help me grow. There is Zoe, Ada, Yue, Gillette, Cloud, Hank, Chi, Sini. They watch me grow every day and provided me with all my needs. They truly are spectacular and are very, very special to me. In addition, I'm being taken care of by many volunteers and sponsors. They told me that I have a big role in Edmonton, to connect international students and new graduates with people for jobs, investment, and friendship. I know I need to become a big and strong child. Since the day I was born, I practiced my skills through organizing all kinds of events. During winter 2012, for example, I welcomed more than 600 people to one of the biggest and most formal Christmas parties in the Chinese community. Well, it was a super nice experience. It was super exciting to see all the boys and girls all dressed up and having a wonderful time. Christmas is truly a special holiday, right? Truth be told, it was the first event I've ever held. I made so many new friends who later became ACA's members. I introduced them to one another. To tell you a secret, several girls found their boyfriends at this party. I became famous from this event. Suddenly, I was very well known among the students of Edmonton. The members hoped I could help them find their other halves. I understood. I put on a speed dating event for them and hoped to find their true love. The event turned out very successful and many couples formed because of me. I was very happy since it was my pleasure to make their lives happier and more enjoyable. That is also the goal of my existence. I had a family meeting with my caregivers after. They told me that if international students could settle in Canada, they would help to grow the local economy. That then became my vision to help international students find open opportunities and settle down in a foreign city that they now call home. On March 22, 2013, at the University of Alberta campus, I organized the flagship event called Get You Prepared. It's a live job interview reality show where many were invited to participate in. I invited many leaders of Edmonton companies to be the honor guests, interviewing students on stage. Some students got offers after the event. Audience also passed their resumes to the companies in person. The event was a success and it helped many find their dream job. Have you watched Dragon's Dance TV show? In October 2013, I organized a unique version of Dragon's Den event, where I helped entrepreneurs who had business ideas to meet with potential investors and panelists. Wow, I learned so much from the innovative and smart people. On the day of the competition, there were many spectators and they all witnessed an intense competition. Some entrepreneurs invented medical testing and imaging system. Some created new integrated social platforms and some advanced oil sense ways to reuse and many, many more. Congratulations to the winners who were able to communicate their best ideas with creativity and attitude, which resulted in all the favorings of all guests. If you have any good event ideas that will help the community, be sure to share them with me. My popularity makes me a busy baby. I participated in a fundraising event to help the Stollery Children's Hospital Foundation. I supported building children's healthcare facility with the main goal of supporting the future of Edmonton. Every summer, I hold a barbecue for my friends in the park. We eat and play games and have a good time not only as friends, but as a big and loving family. I also love sports. I was very happy to have a group of golf lovers join me and had lots of fun playing in golf tournaments. During Halloween, I went around and gave candies to many trick-or-treaters in the city. I told the child that there was nothing to be afraid of since I will always be around to look after them. After a year and a half, I now have more than a thousand members in my big family. I have made so many friends from companies, nonprofit groups, student associations who support and sponsor my events. I know I am growing, healthily and happily, thanks to all these great people who I now call family. I now have a great responsibility to enrich the lives of international students and alumni, and most importantly, to make Edmonton a great city to live in. Let me know if you have any good ideas to share. Drop by once in a while to visit me, and remember, I always welcome you to join my family. 
Lastly, I'd like to thank WE Production Team, who professionally documented the story of my life. Their vision is to connect the Western and Eastern cultures together. We production, not I, but we.